Welcome to another video in the SAP Configuration from Zero playlist. We are still working on our first objective, which is to do the most basic configuration to be able to run a simple procure to pay process. So a simple purchasing process where we buy a raw material, then receive it into our stock, and then receive the supplier invoice. In the last video, we arrived at this stage. So we have our supplier. This is the purchase order creation screen. We have created our supplier. We have our purchase organization, purchasing group, and the company code. All of this we configured together from zero. So our next step should be to create a material code. In order to do this, we go to the material master data creation screen, which is MM01, so slash O MM01. And here we select an industry and a material type. So for the industry, I'm selecting mechanical engineering. This is a standard industry that's configured in any SAP system, and it doesn't change anything for us in the process, so I will keep it. And the material type, I'm using the standard raw material type, ROH, which is also configured in any standard SAP system. Then I press enter, and we can select the views that we want to create. So in order to run a simple purchasing process, we need the basic data. We don't need any sales data because we're not going to sell it. We need the purchasing data for sure, and also the MRP details are mandatory. So some fields here are mandatory and we need them. Then if you scroll down, we also need the general plant data storage one. This is mandatory for any material you are going to maintain in stock. And also we need accounting and the costing. These two are mandatory to be able to cost and post the accounting entries when we do the goods receipt and the invoice receipt. So these are the views we want. And if I click on OK here, we are asked to insert a plant and a storage location. This is why our next step is to configure the plant and the storage location. And this is what we are going to do in the video today. So I'm going to start with the plant and then we will see how it will go from there, but maybe the storage location will be in the next videos. So let's go. Before we continue with our configuration, I have a very important update that I want to share with you. And it is something that will impact directly your learning experience on this channel. So you see how now this playlist is getting bigger and bigger. And my plan for this playlist, the SAP configuration from zero, is to be the main playlist on the channel that combines together everything that I have explained so far. So in order to be able to arrange this playlist and in order to be able to follow it without losing our way, we need some kind of a roadmap or a diagram that shows all the different videos or the different steps that are being explained and also it needs to be connected to the different videos. So this way you can follow this map in order not to lose your way and to be able to find any step you want at any time. And to do this, I have started creating these roadmaps on my website. So you can go to my website, galalconsulting.com or galalacademy.com slash courses. And here you are going to find the different roadmaps that I have created. I have already created three of them. So I have the SAP configuration from zero for this playlist, the SAP data migration for the data migration playlist. And I've also created one for the SAP period and the closing playlist. And I will continue doing so for the other courses I have on the channel. For now, the one that interests us is our playlist that is the SAP configuration from zero. So if you click here on view course, it will take you to this page. So first I have some kind of explanation that explains how the diagram works. But if you scroll down, you are going to find this very nice, very organized map that shows all the different things we have explained so far. And on any box, you can click to go directly to the YouTube video. So you see how practical this is. I'm very happy with this idea. It took a lot of work to do but now I have reached a phase where I have some kind of automation. So it is easy for me to create these maps and to link them automatically to the YouTube videos. So now for our playlist, SAP configuration from zero, all the basic steps or the main steps that we have to do are colored in yellow. So any yellow box is something that we have to go through. And then the blue boxes are the deep dive videos where I explain additional features. So for example, in our playlist, we have started with the defined company code, and then we have company code global parameters and defined purchase organization. I still do not have a link here because I'm still editing the video. Once I publish it, I'm going to add the link. And then you see here the blue boxes, these are already there, and these are actually videos I have created throughout the lifetime of the channel. So I have not created new videos. They have already been there on the channel, but I started connecting everything together. So this playlist is going to be amazing. 
So you see here we have defined company code and then company code global parameters. And inside the global parameters, while showing the basic step, I also told you that we can activate the purchase account management, define our own chart of accounts, define a field status variant. So each of these has its own video. So now if you click on any of these, for example, define chart of accounts, it will take you directly to the YouTube video where I explain how to define the chart of accounts. And also this link is inside the playlist where I explained this topic. So you can actually find all the different contexts. So you see here, this is something I explained while explaining the data migration playlist. So it took you to the video inside the playlist. So this way you can easily find your way to learn different things. So the yellow boxes are our main path. The blue boxes are our deep dive videos that you can check if you are interested in the SAP financial module because this is the thing that I explain uh, more than the other modules, right? Now, I have already created this diagram also for other playlists. So for example, if you go to the data migration playlist and you'll see how big this is because the data migration playlist has around 35 videos. So if you go here, again, the yellow boxes are our main path or our main steps and the blue boxes are the deep dive videos. So I have the data migration introduction and so on. And then for example, when doing the GL account master data, I have explained how to configure the chart of accounts, which is not something related to data migration, but a deep dive video, if you would like to learn more about how to define your chart of accounts. So the same concept will apply to all the different playlists we have on the channel. I'm going to maintain these diagrams. For now, I want you to go and check the SAP configuration from zero diagram. And one more thing is, I have added a comments section at the bottom of the page. So I really want to see your comments because it has taken a lot of work to do this. And I'm very excited about this idea. I will continue updating this diagram and I want to see your comments here. So please go ahead, go to my, the website, galaconsulting.com slash courses, go to the diagram and just leave me a comment. Let me know that you are using this. So this way I stay motivated and I keep updating it because if no one is using these diagrams, I'm not going to continue this. So just go there and leave me a comment on the website, please. In order to leave a comment, maybe you need to log into the website. And this is very easy. You just go here to the top. You click on this icon. And I already have a, a user account that I'm using. But if you, are not, if you don't have a user yet, you just go here. You click on login. And then you can sign up with your email address. It is very easy. And then you'll be able to leave a comment. In the website also, you can go directly to any course you want from the menu here. So this is something I updated recently. So here you can scroll through the different courses directly from the menu. We have only three courses now. There will be more in the future. And also from the menu, you can go to the SCEP access service, which allows you to subscribe to the same SCEP s system I'm using in the demos. So you can see my configuration and also you can configure anything you want on this system. So you go here, you can subscribe online. And as you see, the system is already working fine. We have five confirmed reviews. I'm very happy with this. So five, five stars reviews. These are verified users who have subscribed already to the system and are happy with the service. We don't have any bad reviews so far. So go ahead, check the reviews. And if you'd like to subscribe to the SAP s system, you can do so directly from the website. Now let's get back to our configuration. Now that we have configured our company code and our purchase organization, we already understand how to configure different enterprise structure objects or the organization structure. So there is a menu path in the configuration menu where we can find all the different organization structure objects. This is enterprise structure. And then there are two sub menus. So we have a menu for create and a menu for assign. We have already seen this. So you see, after you start configuring some things, you start understanding how the system is structured. But anyway, let's continue as we did in the other videos with the help menu. So now I'm going to the plant field, right click, click on help. And from here, we can click on the customizing button to go to the different areas in the configuration menu where we have the plant. And we are going to have a lot of places in the configuration menu because the plant is one of the basic objects in the system, same as the company code, it is very important. So you'll find it everywhere. If you look here and we are looking for something related to enterprise structure or maybe plant master. So this is not what we are looking for. Yes, here we have it. We have defined plant. So this is something under logistics general definition and we have assigned plant to company code. So now we understand, okay, we need to define a plant. 
and we also need to assign it to our company code, okay? So let's start with the final plant. I usually copy the plant from any standard plant configured by SAP because I'm not a material management consultant, so I don't really go into these details that are related to inventory management. But with you in this playlist, as promised, we copy nothing. So we are going to create everything from scratch. So what I did here is I went to the configuration menu. So we are here in the logistics general. Of course, have a look at the menu to understand where we are. So we are under enterprise structure definition, logistics general, define plant. So I'm going to click here. And of course you can read the help documentation before you go in. I'm not going to repeat this every time. So feel free to read the documentation that's outside next to the transaction to learn more about this. So here we have the different plants. If we double click on any plant, for example, this one, VRS plant, I think this has been configured by one of the system subscribers. But anyway, so you go here, you, we have a language key, we have a street, PO box, so we generate data about the plant. So let's create our own plant. New entries. The plant will have the same code as our company code, which is AG60. This is our first plant. And the name, we call it AG from zero plant one. And then enter. Then to insert the address of the plant, so the country and so on, you click on this icon here, address, and we can maintain different other details. So search term, as always, I insert AG, so this way I'm able to find anything that I define in the system. The country region is France, and the language is English. I'm not going to maintain any other details here. And this is it, save. So now we have defined our plant. To see logs, click on display logs, okay. So now we assign it to our configuration request. And we have defined our plant. This is very simple. Of course, there are other steps included in the plan definition. It is same as company code. You first define the name and the address, and then there are some kind of global parameters that we configure after this. So now we have defined our plant. Let's assign it to our company code. So let's go back. So again, from here, from the enterprise structure menu, so here we are under definition, but if I go to assignment, also under logistics, we can find it assign plan to company code. Let's see if we can assign it. Again, if you want to read the documentation, you click here, you read it first, then you go to the transaction. So we have defined our plant, AG60, and we have our company code, AG60. So now I'll click on new entries, company code, AG60, and the plant, AG60, enter. So now we have assigned the plant to our company code, save assign to the transport request, and it is done. So now we have defined our plant and we assigned it to our company code, but we still have many other steps to do in the plant configuration. It is not done yet, but let's not get ahead of ourselves. As we agreed in this playlist, we are going to configure step by step, and then we see what errors we get from the system for missing configuration, and then we learn based on these errors. So I'm going to end this video here, but it does not mean that the plant configuration is done. You need to follow the full playlist in order to learn how to configure this process end to end, okay? I'm going to keep these videos as short as I can. So this way, when we look in the diagram after this and the website, we are able to go to any configuration step we want directly. So I'm going to end the video here, but the plant configuration is not done. Now your homework is to go to the SAP help library and read about plants. This is a very simple page that will show you some basic information about plants. Also go to your SAP testing system and configure the plant as we did, assign it to the company code. If you need access to an SAP s testing system, you can check my website, galaconsulting.com slash SAP access, and you will be able to subscribe to the same system I am using. I hope you found this video useful and easy to understand. Do not forget to check the diagrams on my website, galaconsulting.com slash courses, and leave me a comment there so this way I know you are using these diagrams. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel, share the video with your connections, follow the playlist, and leave me your comments. If you want me to modify the method I am following in this playlist, if you want me to make the videos longer, or to change the approach, leave me a comment. I read all your comments, even if I do not respond, but I read all of them. So leave me a comment about with your thoughts, ideas, or anything you want to ask. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you again soon.